Costa Rica has declared a state of emergency as a result of the Conti ransomware attack. The attack originated in April 2022, impacting several government ministries and agencies. The initial demand was rejected, leading to over 600 gigabytes of data being stolen and leaked online. The U.S. Department of State is offering a $15 million bounty for the arrest of those responsible for deploying Conti. This analysis is coming from our own security expert, Josh Allen. All resources and links are available in the description. Let's dive into what happened with this breach. On May 8, 2022, the president of Costa Rica, Rodrigo Chavez, declared a national emergency due to an ongoing Conti ransomware campaign against several Costa Rican government entities starting in April of this year. Conti is a prolific ransomware as a service operation that has been infecting and damaging systems since it was first observed in 2020, attributed to the threat group called Wizard Spider by CrowdStrike in 2019. This group is also known for TrickBot and Ryuk ransomware distribution through the Zloader botnet, which we previously reported as shut down by Microsoft. What's worth discussing about this attack is that Conti contains new and novel techniques that few other ransomware variants have exhibited so far. Conti's design makes it one of the fastest encrypting ransomware, able to run 32 simultaneous encryption threads, and it can be remotely controlled via command line options. Attackers are able to target and control what files are encrypted and in what order, allowing the malware to quickly encrypt important shared data without immediately making the local system unusable to users, which could allow an enterprise time to act. The attack on the nation of Costa Rica began with a Conti cyber attack at the Ministry of Finance on April 18, 2022. The ministry is still evaluating the scope of the incident and has yet to determine what, if any, impact may have been on the taxpayer's information or payments. The ransom demanded was $10 million, or else the group would continue to attack the nation's ministries. Costa Rica's government response was to decline the initial ransom payment. Keeping good on their promise, Wizard Spider continued its campaign and has so far infected the Administrative Board of the Electrical Service of the Province of Cartago, the Ministry of Science, Innovation, Technology, and Telecommunications, the Ministry of Labor and Social Security, and many others. All of these agencies have had their operations impacted in some way. As of May 9th, 2022, Conti has leaked over 97% of the 672 gigabytes data dump, which allegedly contains information stolen from the government agencies. Conti has the capability to make and exfiltrate copies of any data that is encrypted, which can turn a ransom campaign into an extortion attempt even after the encrypted files are restored. As always, we want to offer actionable tips and techniques that you can deploy to protect yourself against ransomware attacks. Uh, we have a few resources available in the description, an entire how-to guide written by experts um, with practical tips that you can implement today uh, to prevent ransomware attacks. We always recommend following some sort of cybersecurity maturity model or framework for your business. We have a link in the description for that as well. We always recommend taking a look at hiring uh, outside expertise uh, to help with uh, you know, understanding your attack surface and, and preventing these attacks from happening. And of course, we always recommend that you invest and build in a vulnerability management program if it makes sense for your business. Conti is just one example of ransomware. There are many other well-known variants and new ones are being created all the time. It's important to take ransomware seriously at your business. That's, that's the main point here. The full extent of the continuing attack, the leak, and its impact on the citizens of Costa Rica has yet to be determined. And it, it could be many months, it could be years before we really understand what that full impact is. The declaration of national emergency has given the government of Costa Rica some national powers to help defend itself from the attack and to recover from any damages. In a separate but related announcement last week, the U.S. Department of State is offering a $10 million uh, reward uh, for any information that identifies and locates anyone related to Conti uh, with an additional $5 million bounty for information leading to an, an arrest directly responsible for creating and delivering Conti ransomware attacks. I hope this video has been informative and helpful. If you liked it, please like it, subscribe, 
uh, leave comments for other attacks that you might want our experts to review. And thank you so much for your time. Have a great day.